geographer. Oh, thank you. Mark. A couple of announcements. The following people um, who have spoken to Colin about being on the committee, those are Cliff Dunn, Renee Walling, Mark Olson, Roger Burns, Rachel Axe, and J Jason Spitzer. The committee will be meeting in this room at the conclusion of today's meeting. And then secondly, before we get to the actual de uh, time limit debates on the rest of it, we're also going to have an informal discussion about EPH, EPH plus, and all the other various uh, scenarios in this room at the conclusion of tomorrow's meeting. That will not be run by business meeting staff, but just to make you aware. We are now at B22, which is December is good enough. Mr. Breitbart, for what purpose does the member rise? I move that in all debates for the remainder of this meeting, if the total debate time is 10 minutes or less, each person is limited to one minute per speech. If it is more than 10 minutes to two minutes per speech. Yes, that's going to be a suspension of the rules, so it will require a two-thirds vote in favor. I heard a second. Mr. Breitbart, do you want to make a speech in favor? <laughs> All too often I have seen some, with a debate time of 10 minutes, one person spend five minutes saying nothing very slowly and using up the entire side's time. Is there a speech against? Mr. Yellow. Just request a two thirds. <laughs> yeah. We sometimes have complicated motions with short debate times. If it takes somebody two or three minutes to try and isolate what are the key points either in favor or against that, I believe that I'd rather hear a really good two minute speech than a bunch of really lousy 30 second speeches. Is there another speech in favor of the motion? Ari Goldstein. Um, it's actually a relatively simple equation. If you, everyone believes that, if you believe you need more time than the one minute, you can make a motion to have more time than the one minute. And at that point, I mean, I think that that's, that makes a barrier to people basically saying, again, a lot, for, uh, nothing for no time. Is Ms. Secor, for what purpose does the member rise? That, that, was, that was in favor. You're very confusing today. <laughs> I'm Kate Secor. As someone who's actually relatively new to this meeting, despite the amount of times that I've talked, um, I think it's really important to give everybody a chance to stand up and say what they want to say. And sometimes people that are new to the meeting are a little incoherent. But do we really want to take the chance of uh, keeping people from talking just because they feel like they can't express themselves in a very short amount of time? Frankly, if more people want to talk when we run out of time, there is in fact a motion to extend the debate. And that prevents us from having a motion every minute. I'd like to keep talking. Can I have a motion? I'd like to keep talking. Can I have a motion? We can just move to extend the entire debate and give everybody more time instead of having to do it at every individual speaker. Mr. Blog, that was a speech again. Mr. Blog. Gary Blog, I'm in favor of it because I want to have as many people be able to speak on against, in favor of or against any motions they want. I want to hear more opinions. I don't want to hear just one person's opinion dominating an entire block of that, uh, entire block of the time allotted for or against a motion. I want to hear more opinions. 
And uh, I, there are several people in this room who will take up an entire time, uh, the entire time, and uh, I'm in favor. Mr. Buff, is this a speech ag against? Warren Buff, I move to amend by substitution that if fewer than five people have spoken in favor or against a motion, that debate time automatically be extended by 30 seconds to allow an additional speaker until five have spoken. Is there a second? Is there a second? Hearing none. <laughs> Mr. Cornwall, for what purpose does the member rise? I wish to make a motion. Mr. Cornegal, please yield for the parliamentary inquiry. Thank you. Sorry. Right. Question of parliamentary inquiry. Um, even if we set a debate time, we don't, uh, other than the current motion on the table, we don't have to use it all, right? If we set a 10 minute debate no, time. No, we don't have to use it all. <laughs> and the chair would be really happy if he didn't use it all. All right, all right. So that, so that, so that, I know, I agree. It, it's hilarious, but that's my point. So if we set longer debate times. No. That, that, that was your parliamentary inquiry. Okay, thank you. Mr. Carnival, your motion. Uh, I move that if fewer than five speakers have spoken on either side, uh, then the threshold for extending debate uh, be uh, dropped to 50% for that motion. I'm sorry, is that I, didn't, I didn't catch what I said. Normally, the threshold for extending debate is two thirds. Uh, my motion is that we change the motion on the floor that if uh, two uh, thirds, if fewer than two thirds have, um, sorry, if fewer than five, thank you, um, uh, have spoken on a, um, on a given side, then uh, the threshold drops to a regular 50% so that the body can extend debate if they wish to more easily. So you mean to amend the motion by substitution so that the vote threshold for extent debate, if there have been five or fewer speakers, is 50%. Fewer than five. Fewer than five. Fewer than five. Fewer than five. Not inclusive. Less than. Yes. OK. Is there a second? Second. Point of order. Mr. Yallo, what is your point of order? Yes, actually. Uh, this is a germaneness argument. I believe that in attempting to alter that other section, it would not be germane to the original amendment and therefore would have to be offered as a separate amendment, not while Mr. Breibart's amendment is still on the floor. Yes, I do need to rule on the germaneness, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to rule on it. I believe it is germane because it is all about debate time and influence based on debate about how people vote, so I'm going to rule that it is germane. There's a motion to call a question. Is there a second? Second. We are on the motion to amend by substitution. Is there any objection to calling the question? Seeing none, we're going to vote on Mr. Cronengold's motion to amend by substitution. All those in favor? Can you make it very clear what we're voting on? Sure. We are going to vote on reducing the vote threshold for the motion to extend debate from two thirds to a majority vote if fewer than five people have spoken at the end of debate. That, that is to make it as the base motion. Total. No, it's per side. Per side. I misunderstood the motion. It's per side. So we are, we are voting on whether to 